and skip. Now, also notice another very useful observation. When we compute, let's say, F10 and F18, the only two data points that we need is F00 and F08. That is the only data point that we need in order to compute F10 and F18. After that computation is done for F10 and F18, the data F00 and F08 is no longer required for the remaining computation for, let's say, F11, F12, and so on. So for that reason, after we compute F10, we can override the value F10 on top of F00. And after we compute the value of F18, we can override that value on F08. And the reason because F00 and F08 is no longer needed for the remaining computation of the vector F1. And then similarly, the computation of F11 or F19 only require the data for F01 and F09. And therefore, after we finish the computation of F11 and F19, we can override the value on F01 and F09. So that way, we don't have to introduce another vector F1 to waste the computer memory. OK, so after we finish the computation of the intermediate vector F1, then we can move on to level 2 in order to compute the intermediate vector F2. Again, the computation of the intermediate vector F2 will require to calculate 16 values, F20, F21, F22, F23, blah, 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 all the way to F215. Now, in this case, we can recognize that the computation of F20 will require the data for F10 and F14, as you can see from these two arrows right there. At the same time, the computation of F24 also requires the same data for from F10 and from F14. So basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that when you compute the F20, you can obtain the value of F24 almost for free. The only thing different is instead of adding a product, now you subtract a, the product, just like I explained to you earlier. So similarly, if you com after you compute F21, we can obtain the value of F25 almost for free. And so for that reason, the computational pattern will look something like this. Let me summarize for you. For the vector L F2, what we should calculate is the first four value, which is like F20, F21, F22, F23. After that, we skip the next four value. The reason is because the next four value we can obtain, we can calculate it while we compute the first four guy. Then we will compute the next four value for F2, which is F28, F29, F210, F211. And since when you compute F28, we can obtain F212 almost for free. The only difference is instead of adding a product, now you subtract the product, like I explained to you. When we compute F29, we can obtain F213 almost for free. So basically, after we finish F28, F29, F210, F211, the next four computations can be skipped. And then finally, after we finish the computation of the vector F2 in level 2, we move on to 
the computation of vector F3 at level 3. Again, if you, that means in this step, we need to calculate F3 0, F3 1, F3 2, F3 4, F3 3, F3 4, blah, 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 all the way to F3 15. If you observe, it follows the same pattern. Basically, it say to compute F3 0, we need to make use of the data from F2 0 and F2 2, as you can see by the arrow indication in, in the picture. Now, the computation of F3 2 also require the same two data, which is F2 0 and F2 2. So basically, what I say to you is the computation of F3 0 and the computation F3 2 are essentially the same. Instead of adding a product, we just subtract a product. So, which means when you calculate F3 0, at the same time you make a minor a, 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 a subtraction of the product, you can get F3 2. Therefore, this F32 essentially you don't need to compute it because you can get that value F32 while you compute F30. Similarly, when we compute F31, we can also at that time compute F33 with very minor difference in the in the computation. Instead of adding the product, we subtract the product. So what does that mean? That means for the computation of the vector F3 in level 3, the way it works is we compute the first two value of F3, like F3, 0, F3, 1, we compute it. The next two, you skip. Then we compute F3, 4, F3, 5. The next two, we skip. And the reason we skip it because you can obtain it during the computation of F3, 4, F3, 5. And the same thing, we compute F3, 8, F3, 9. The next two, we compute it, uh, we skip. Then we compute F3, 12, F3, 13. And the next two, we skip it. Finally, we compute, let's say, the last level, which is computation of vector F4 in level 4. This level is the last one because L is equal to R in this case, R equal to 4. Well, in this case, you notice if we want to compute F4, 0, we need to have a data from F3, 0 and F3, 1. At the same time, to compute F4, 1, we need the same two data, F3, 0 and F3, 1. So, for that reason, basically, we compute F4, 0, and the next one, we skip it because the computation of these two quantities are very similar. Then we compute F4, 2, and we skip F4, 3. Then we compute F4, 4, and we skip F4, 5. And you can see the rest of the pattern. So now, I hope by now you can see the pattern. And let me give you a very useful formula. The formula, you should think about it, is something like uh, N divide by 2 raised to the power L, where L represents the vector level that you, you compute. So, for example, if you want to compute the vector F1 corresponding to level L equal to 1. So what does that mean to this ratio? N is equal to 16 for this example. L is level 1, so true to the power 1. So this ratio is equal to 8. And that number 8 basically telling you that you should compute the first 8 value of the vector F1 and then after that the next 8 value F1 you can skip. And the reason you can skip because I told you many times to compute when you compute F1 0 
at the same time you can compute F19 with very little diff additional effort. Now, similarly, if you apply the same formula n divided by 2 to the power L and you apply that to the computation of factor F2 in level 2, let's see what happens. Well, if L is equal to 2, then according to this formula, 2 to the power L become 2 to the power 2. So 16 divided by 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4. So what does that number 4 mean? What it means is you compute the first four number in the vector F2 and the next four you will skip and then you compute the next four number and the next four number you skip. See? So the same pattern apply to save the time. Let's say what happened when you want to compute the vector F4 in level 4. Well, n is equal to 16 divided by 2 raised to the power L. L in this case is 4. So this ratio is equal to 1. And what does that number 1 mean? It means you compute F40, the next one you skip. You compute F42, the next one you skip. So that's the way it is in order to save a lot of computational effort. And that is the end of this lecture. The acknowledgement